Right, so hey guys, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. So this video is going to be a lot more chill than the previous tutorials we had, just to kind of um, dumb it down for new beginners that are joining my channel. So in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be programming a simple GUI digital clock that you can flex on your screens. Let me show you an example of what I mean. Let me run the program I already have coded up just to show you what you'll be having at the end of this tutorial. Let's run this up. And as you see right here, we have a little digital clock showing up on my screen. So it just updates um, each time a second passes by and it shows us the most um, updated time. So that's all we're going to be doing in this, tu this tutorial we are going to go through today. So first of all, what I'm going to do is open up Visual Studio Code like always. And then in there, what I'm going to do is close my existing files and create a new file. I'm going to zoom in a bit as well, just that you can see easier. And then save this as, um, let's just call it a digital clock dot pi. Because it's a digital clock, of course. So first thing you want to do is um, import Tikinta. So we're going to be using a label from Tikinta and we're going to be using the TK from Tikinta. So from Tikinta, import TK, which is pretty much going to let us create a small window or a screen. And then from Tikinta, import label, which is going to be allowing us to put some text to our screen. Cool. So first of all, we want to um, define a master screen. So if I do master equals TK and then open close brackets and run that up for you, it should open up a small window. But before that, we also need to put it in a loop so that it keeps running. So we do master dot main loop. And now if I run this, we should have a little pop up window. So as you see right here, we have a little pop up window. So now let's give that window a title. So master dot title um, digital clock. And now what we want to do is go ahead and create a label on our screen. So clock equals label and the master is going to be where it's going to be placed. Then we're going to set our font size to we're going to set it to Calibri type and then we're going to set the font size to 90 so that it pretty much covers up the um, screen nicely. I'm going to set my background to grey. You guys can go ahead and put your color preferences in there and I'm going to set my foreground which is the color of my text to white. Cool. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and pack this clock onto my screen. So what pack does is it pretty much puts this label at the center of my screen. Now, as of now, if I run this, obviously nothing's going to show up. It's just going to be a little kind of label, which is in the center of the screen. We've got to put text on there. So for this, we need to have a function that pretty much calls itself again and again every time the time updates or every few seconds. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's create a function called def get time. Now, this function right here is going to be getting the time for us and then updating the label every um, 20, every 0.2 of a millisecond. So before that, what we want to do is import time and let's also do import system. So these are the two modules that are going to help us gather the time and store it as a string. So time variable equals time dot string f time. So in here, what we can do is format the time that we're having as a as pretty much how we want it to display. So I want to display percentage i which means hours then i want a percentage um m which is minutes then i'm going to use percentage um s which is seconds and then lastly percentage p which will show either am or pm cool so that's that done we've got the string showing up now now what we want to do is use clock clock which is the name of the label that we created dot config so that we can add some text to it so text equals um time variable so that's the um, variable that was storing the time for us now what we want to do here is go ahead and use the clock dot after method which means every um, point two of a second we are going to run this function again so every every zero point every second of a second so like every 200 milliseconds we're gonna run this function again so that we get the most recent time and it's being put on our label cool so what, once we're done with that, we also need to call this get time function once after the label has been packed on our screen. So get time and run it now. And that's about it. Now, if I run this quickly, 
as you see right here, we are able to see our little digital clock on the top of our screen. So that's a nice little startup project for you guys to flex on your friends or something like that. It's, it's pretty good, it looks like a neat UI. You guys can also change the design if you like. So for example, if I wanted to change the background to black and foreground still to white, and if I run it now, it changes whatever I want. So background is black and then the foreground is white. Um, what if I wanted to change the font size? I can go ahead and do that over here. So I can do 100 instead of 90 and then it goes slightly bigger. Um, also, if I wanted to change it to a different font family, I could do it so by typing in Arial in here, for example, instead of Calibri, and it should adjust automatically. So as you see, it's Arial now. Um, also, if you wanted to do, 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 what else can you do with this? You could also add some extra text to it, like an extra label. So you could do something like um, label master comma font equals Arial. Let's go with font size of, um, I don't know, let's say 30. And then let's do comma text equals uh, digital block. Foreground equals white. And background equals black, just to keep theme consistent. And then we just use a dot pack so that we pack it onto a screen in the center. Cool. So as you see right here, you could also do that if you like. Obviously, it's up to your personal preferences how you want this to be designed. But hey, that's what you can do if you like as well. So that brings an end to this short tutorial, guys. Hope you have learned a little bit during this short tutorial. Um, hope you would be able to use this to create sort of your own project. You can also create an alarm out of it if you like by adding a few um, functions and buttons onto this UI. And that's it. If you guys would like to donate to the channel directly, you can do so by either signing up as a patron and using the Patreon link in the description. You can also um, use a super chat emoji or a highlighted message when this video premieres. Also guys, do consider joining the Discord channel and following the socials for some more fun. And I will see your beautiful faces in the next tutorial. Peace.